a dance for two. Sun and Earth move in celestial time as partners on a cosmic dance floor. The Sun, a huge ball of compressed gases, is an atomic furnace. From our earthly perspective, the Sun moves rapidly across the sky. In reality, it hardly moves. All of the Sun's planets spread out from the center on a plane of the solar equator. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The Sun provides the gravitational pull that keeps its partner Earth in the pattern of the dance. Earth is the active partner in this ballet. The first step of the dance is a twirl. Earth rotates on its axis 23 hours and 56 minutes a day and completes 365 and a quarter rotations in a year. The second step in the dance is Earth's tilt of 23 and a half degrees on its polar axis. So this tilt changes the aspect of the planet presented to the Sun. Without tilt, there wouldn't be any seasons. The third step in the dance is Earth's revolution in an elliptical orbit. The closest point to the Sun is 91.4 million miles. The farthest point from the Sun is 94.5 million miles. These points are the solstices. While traveling around the course of the ellipse, two points are reached where the equator of the Sun and the equatorial center of the Earth are in the exact line. This time of the dance is called equinox. We calculate time based on a 24-hour day and a 365-day year. This is convenient for us, but it is not accurate enough to leave things go without adjustment. The adjustment is to add a day every fourth year. The difference between the clock time mean distance measurement and the actual celestial time measurement can differ as much as 20 minutes on some days. This difference is called the equation of time. This is due to clock time being based on a circular orbit with a constant equator to equator match. In reality and on real time, the Earth moves about an ellipse that is uneven and not in the exact center of the Sun's equator. If we stand in the same spot at the same time and take a picture of the Sun, we will see that the Sun-Earth relative position changes every day. An analemma is the device that was created to show the relative positions of the Earth and the Sun. We finish off with a photo from Sky and Telescope magazine. John Raffle took 52 exposures of the Sun at Muscat, Oman. This composite photo shows the analemma. For a quick review, the Sun is central, providing gravity and fuel. Earth twirls. Earth is tilted. The Earth goes around the Sun in an ellipse. The analemma symbolizes the relationship of the Sun and Earth on a daily basis and reflects reality as proven by experiment and the photograph you're seeing now.